Oh man, right there. Close, close to us. Got him, right there. A toad, a toad, a toad. It's as good as it gets. Beautiful Wally looking day. All right, well, we are kind of sort of seeing something maybe good enough possibly to make it happen on here. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Yesterday we filmed out on Winnemagosh, and today we are out on Leech Lake. I love every time I'm out on Leech Lake. It's just one of those bodies of water that always has me very curious. There's a lot of stuff going on out here in a lot of different areas in the lake. Very diverse fishery. And uh, I think that's just kind of why it's always like, even when I come out here and catch a lot of fish, it just always seems like halfway puzzling, if you know, if that makes any sense at all. But uh, yeah, we're out here. I've been driving around for probably three hours now doing a little bit of fishing catching a few fish pretty slow and uh just mainly just looking at spots and trying to find a lot of fish you know generally just if you guys watch the last couple of videos i've done um on winnie or any kind of fall stuff you know a lot of a predominant pattern in the fall in a lot of these big lakes is a lot of bait fish coming very shallow this time of year we got water temps that are you know hovering right in that 60 low 60 degree range and uh you know you get a lot of bait that comes up shallow and the walleyes follow those fish up onto a lot of these big shoreline shelf flats a lot of this bait just shoots right to the shoreline this time of year so we've been driving around looking at a lot of these and uh we're on one right now big sand flat and uh we're not seeing like any tight pot of fish now generally if you're fishing a large flat and you don't see a tight pot of fish trolling can work but we're going to jig fish today but we're going to do it super efficiently at least that's the plan for right now and what we're going to do is we're going to get the troll motor down we're either going to drive around with the big motor or the troll motor we're going to get the 360 down we're going to get the side imaging going and we're basically just going to drive around this flat and whenever we see a couple of fish or a little pot of fish we're just going to throw at them it's going to be like sharp shooting fish with a jig and a minnow in, and we're gonna probably be in we're sitting in eight right now We're probably gonna fish nine to five feet of water is probably the plan and our setup is going to be the Elliott rods seven foot three um, Medium light fast action and basically what we're gonna be using is Most of the time when I'm fishing this shallow I like to use mono or floral But we're gonna kind of for this sharp shooting I kind of want to make make sure I can do a super precise cast and kind of do a real fine movements with the jig so I'm gonna go with braid and uh, just 10 pound suffix 832 down to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And on the business end of that, we got a quarter ounce pendu jig in gold and then just a shiner. And uh, hopefully the shiners catch plenty of fish. I'm sure they will, it's kind of the deal. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned, we're gonna start driving around. We'll get the troll motor down now. We'll probably start doing it with the trolling motor and uh, like I said, the goal is to uh, catch a bunch of walleyes out here on Leech and do it super finesse. You know, if you're a Minnesota fisher, and seems like everybody in Minnesota, the way they fish is they just drift around. And uh, we're going to hopefully be a little bit more efficient with our movements and, uh, you know, really make sure that anytime we're casting this out, we're right in fish. And I can tell you right now, we're going to be doing a lot more driving than we are actual casting. It might not look like that to you guys, but that's just the way it's going to work. So stay tuned. We're going to find some fish, cast at them, hopefully get bit. Right there, fish on. <laughs> Number one, and man, dude, these Leech Lake walleyes are just wild on the rod. They fight just unbelievably hard. And then you get them up here in a lot of the shallow water. Absolute riot. And I actually missed one on the cast before. Like we kind of talked about, you know, we're fishing. There's not like a ton of fish all concentrated. 
So using your electronics is just unbelievably crucial to presenting a bait to these fish. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Shallow water jig bites on Winnie yesterday. Shallow water jig bites on Leech today. Fall is here, October 1st. Amazing, it feels good. And there's just gonna be more and more and more fish piling into these areas. Let's let that one go and do it again. Just fishing that quarter ounce pendu. You could definitely go down to an eighth, but because I've got so much water to cover, I'm sticking with the quarter just so I can fish it a little bit faster. the go chesty off there for a second but man is that cool you know you guys can see me kind of like twirling around i'm just throwing cast whenever i mark a fish on side imaging or a couple of them i'm just getting on i'm just immediately and i'm using the 362 to kind of see in front of me and behind me and that's kind of the deal and this is a real angry nicely chick walleye in the jig right there heck yes dude do we got any more on the screen nope a real spread out. If I had more people with me, we'd be catching. This is one of those bites where the more the merrier. The more people you can pack in a boat, the more fish you're going to catch. Look at all the larvae still in these things' mouth. It's kind of crazy. Look at the jig out here. Look at all that larva they're eating. Kind of interesting for this late in the year, huh? You don't see that a whole lot of places you go. Kind of crazy looking, but... Super nice leech lake walleye right there on the jig, sniping them off the hummingbird. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right there. <laughs> oh man, we are having some fun now. Last cast, I just let that other nice one go. Just picking them apart. And I'm literally looking at, oh man, there's more fish out there. We gotta land this guy quick. Not enough, not enough time to talk here. You know, the cool part about leech is you can catch a ton of 14 inches. You can catch a ton of eater sized fish. There's a ton of big fish out here. Just a super healthy kind of diverse size structured body water there's about a pudgy little 17 incher right there like i said we got to let him go quick got to find that other pot of fish oh man right there close close to us Got him right there. <laughs> oh man. Oh dude, really nice one here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those were some bigger arcs on the screen. I'll throw up a screenshot right here. I took a screenshot as I cast and you can see real close. Pitched out to him. And this is 100% the nicest one so far. Like I was just talking about seeing all size classes of fish out here on Leech. We've seen all size classes in about the last 15 minutes here. Oh, too much fun. Too much fun. What a fun way to fish. And this thing is just a, a toad. A toad, a toad. I'll get you in the boat here, girl. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. This is a long fish, man. This is a long fish. A long, heavy one. Quarter ounce gold pendu. 
right in the upper lip and look at that guy just a studly leech lake walleye man i absolutely love this place if you love jig fishing get up to leech get up to wind of a gosh these two lakes are just on fire right now let I me mean, look at that guy it's as good as it gets beautiful walleye looking day nice light little breeze stud leech lake walleye sharp shooting them on the hummingbird let's let that guy go wow 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 see you later big mama let's get back into that school let's catch the t three other fish that were with them because they all looked about <laughs> about the same size there all right, you know, kind of the key to this pattern, obviously, is uh, the electronics. But basically, where we're fishing today is just a big flat. And Leech is full of these big flats. Could be a sand flat, could be a rock flat, could have a little bit of weeds. This particular one's mostly sand, a little bit of rubble rock, and uh, some of this real short weeds that's about this tall. It's just kind of like carpet that coats the bottom in areas. And so we can see with side imaging in 360 super well. So basically, all we have to do is drive along, you know, we can see everything that's around us. Now, because there's not a lot of these isolated features for fish to really locked down onto um, they're very scattered and I think what's gonna happen is if we have more wind and the water goes down another five degrees there's gonna be a lot more fish up here and you'll be able to not probably have to you'll just kind of be able to get an area that has fish cast or just anywhere around you and drift and at least that's kind of been my experience out here but we're very heavily reliant upon our 360 and what we're doing is we're just getting them encoded down and turning it on about five about half speed or three quarter speed and going along and i'm looking at two different things i'm looking at my 360 and i'm looking at my side imaging and if generally with the reason i like to run both is sometimes it'll give me like a double verification of like an angle as the boat kind of turns and the 360 refreshes the fish might be here and then the boat turns and it refreshes and now the fish would be the fish would be like over here or over here, one of the two. But a lot of times I'll see those fish, I'll whip the boat sideways, and then I'll see them perfectly sideways on 360 and on my uh, side imaging. And I'll make that pitch cast to however far I think they are. Now we're in like five to eight feet of water today. So the water column does not take up a whole lot of that, that screen that we're looking at. So if those fish are 40 feet off the left side, they're probably about you know 35 feet. So just quick pitch out to them like that let it hit bottom now the way i'm fishing this bait the jig is a lot different you know most time i fish a jig i'm doing this giving it a lot of linear movement hit the bottom keep pulling it towards me when i'm doing this what i like to do i'm almost just because i know i'm right in the fish i'm almost just taking it and like sometimes i'll do an actual jig but just kind of almost like just dancing it on the bottom letting it hit bottom popping it up a little bit not trying to give it a whole lot of this kind of long you know these long jig strokes that are going to move that bait by that fish very fast i know i'm around them so all i'm kind of doing is just working that bait real short like this and then as i'm fishing i'm also still staring at my 360 and my side imaging to make sure that whatever angle i cast it at to make sure those fish are still in that little spot right where my jig is if i make that cast and i jig it twice and all of a sudden it looks like those fish are over here well then we just reel up and recast so it's a lot of this just sharp shooting dancing this bait right in their face real tight and uh, it's been super effective so far. Wow, was that a poke way out there? <laughs> you guys see how far that cast was? That was incredible to get that. There was two fish on the screen. I launched this thing just a mile out there. There we go. Nice 17, 18 incher there in the boat. <laughs> oh man, I love this kind of stuff. and. I always get YouTube comments like hating like oh pretty soon the sonar because of sonar and side imaging in 360 and live scope there's going to be no fish in the lake. Well I let all the fish go and I also think incorporating sonar and side imaging and this kind of sharp shooting mega efficiency style of fishing is it's one of the funnest parts of fishing to me. And holy cow did we get him good. There we go. Another nice eater leech lake walleye on the bomb snipe sniper cast.
There we go. Right there. Oh, man. Saw those fish on the 360 right away. Told you guys. <laughs> kind of lined them up on side imaging. Spun around. And I couldn't see them on side imaging, but I was just having them just forward from the screen on 360. There we go. That's kind of why I like to run the two together. You know, they, they interfere a little bit with each other. But I use them to kind of complement each other. Naturally, you just get more range out of, out of the side imaging. So a lot of times I'll crank that way up 120 or so. And uh, then I'll also run 360. And I like to keep that about 75, 80 right in there. And uh, kind of use both of them. There we go. Look at that. Another beautiful walleye. Sharpshoot right off the side of the boat. Two. Awesome. Let's let them go. Oh, no. There's a pod coming up on my... It's gonna come up on my left here. Yep, right there, okay, okay. Where's the other ones? I don't know, maybe we'll just go for that one quick. There might be a pike or a muskie though, I might not even be a walleye. I'll tell you the truth. I guess we'll find out what it is, huh? Oh boy. Did we sharpshoot a muskie? I don't think so. I think it's, it's gonna be a huge walleye. It's gonna be a big walleye. It's gonna be a really big walleye. Oh yeah, it is a walleye. <laughs> oh man. It was literally marked so big because it was so close to me. I'm like, that could be a muskie, I don't know. And what do they say about these leech lake walleyes just pulling unbelievably? Oh, keep your head down, keep your head down. Keep your head down. Man, is that a stud, dude? Just a stud. All right, all right, all right. I hate when I'm drifting away from fish. Oh man, he's hooked really weird too. Oh, and the net's hung up. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh here. This is not good. Okay, the net's out, net's out. Oh, that was stressful. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, are we having fun or are we having fun? Stud, dude, just a stud. I'm gonna spot lock us quick. This is fun. This is my kind of bite for sure. This guy is angry. Angry, angry. Look at that guy right there. Wow. What a quality, quality fall walleye up here on Leech Lake. Cool pattern, just fishing this massive flat, buzzing around with the Minn Kota as fast as we can go, seeing the fish on 360 and side imaging, shooting at them and getting them to bite. Wow, what a fun bite this is. Let's let that guy go. Too cool, man, and lots and lots of these. Super quality fish, wow. Right there. Fish on. Nice walleye. Another nice walleye. Saw that little pod on 360. And uh, we'll kind of throw up a screenshot right here. And this is kind of what I'm looking for. And uh, you know, sometimes I'll see one pod, sometimes I'll see two pods, like in this shot. But you know, for the most part, I'm just most of the time I'm not seeing any. When I pitch out, I'm just looking for one little cluster of fish, or sometimes I'm mean pitching at one individual big fish if I think it's big and a lot of times you can tell how big these fish are by the size of the shadow if they cast that real big dark shadow they're a bigger fish if they cast kind of that average just kind of wimpy shadow not as impressive now we're just kind of at the point where we're just trying to cast at the bigger <laughs> the bigger shadows we're getting greedy gold quarter ounce that pendu jig is just cracking them today with either a shiner or kind of like a big fat head on it and there we go just another quality, quality fish. Eight feet of water, running around, casting at him. Let's do it again. Too cool. Yep. 
by right there. That was a terrible cast. That was a terrible cast. Not at all what I was trying to accomplish there. Never know though, that close one might bite. He did bite right there. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> For as bad as that cast was, I had, I had like a pot of three way out there. And then I had one kind of close to the boat, and I was shooting at the pot of three, and for some reason, it uh, just did not go where I was hoping it was going to go. Got a boat coming by here, just going to scoop them up real quick. Oh, man. Is that a good time or what? My gosh, what a fun style of fishing. And wow, it just does not get any better than that right there. I mean, look at that, just another gorgeous fall walleye up here in Leech Lake. Unbelievable about an hour of fishing. Fish after fish after fish. Super efficient, just shooting them right off the graph. Absolutely the way to go. All right, well I think that's gonna do it for this video. I don't really know what else there is to do. We could catch 20 more fish and uh, have it this be like an hour, two hour long video and uh, the watch time would probably still be the same. But uh, super cool little bite out here going on. Leech, Winnie, these lakes, two lakes have just been fishing awesome. This is the first time I've been on Leech in a little while, but Winnebagosh is fishing awesome. And fish are definitely in fall things. If we get water temp to kind of crash another five degrees here when we start getting some cold weather, it'll really, really be on. And uh, this is just kind of, I think in my opinion, kind of the, the real start of fish kind of showing up in a lot of these spots. And, uh, but yeah, super fun. Like I said, uh, what am I gonna do the rest of the day? I'm probably just gonna drive around and, and find some different spots that have fish on it. We could just sit on this one spot all day and keep catching them, but what's the fun of that, right? It's more fun to explore and learn new things. So that's kind of the plan, but if you're coming up to Leech, um, look at some of these big flats, run your hummingbird side imaging, run your 360 if you got it, look for those fish on these big flats, make some pinpointed casts to them with a jig and a minnow, and there's no way you won't be catching fish in the fall up here. One of my absolute favorite fall locations. So I appreciate you guys watching, no idea where we're gonna be next, but it'll definitely be some cool fall walleye fishing stuff. I feel like it's about time we go back to a river system. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more content, we'll see you next time. <laughs>